All right. Shalom, all praises be unto Yahweh, Bashim Yahshai, Bashim Mechachudash. Double honors unto the apostles and the bishop elders at Great Millstone who are well and who taught us this truth, man. And pretty much, this is a quick hit on the uh, whole bank situation. Um, the Guardian. And it says Silicon Valley Bank collapse could force central banks to stop interest rate rises. And then it says US Federal Reserve will probably reject further increase in borrowing costs next week. Um, the world's most powerful central banks may stop raising interest rates after Silicon Valley Bank crisis. Economists have said amid growing signal, so like amid growing signs of financial stress, linked to rapid increase in borrowing costs over the past year. And then they said the US Federal Reserve would probably leave interest rates on hold as its decision next week as the meltdown at the California-based technology lender rippled through global financial markets. Against a backdrop of concerns over contagion spreading through the wider global banking industry, financial market expectations for significant further rate increases from the Bank of England and the European Central Bank also eased on Monday. Um, Goldman Sachs said the Fed would probably keep rates on hold at the current level of 4.5% to 4.75% after previously expecting another rise. Um, so these banks essentially are falling through, man. Um, Lord willing, I'm going to do a longer version of this on um, a more in deep, you know, more in depth, you know, case study on this um but i mean it all points towards you know um um the economy failing man you know the world economy failing uh it's just a quick hit let me see uh how's it go uh ending. Please ask these 12 and 3 in the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble and the strong men shall bow themselves and the grinders shall cease because they are few. And those that look out of the window, uh, windows be darkened, man. You know, so the economy's failing. People ain't sure what's going on. Um, and um, one thing that ripples through economics is confidence and fear. Confidence and fear pretty much control world economics, man. You know, when um, two or more parties are confident, everyone's confident. When two or more parties have suffered something devastating or are nervous or fearful, everyone else gets fearful. So watch out for, for larger um, effects that this is having and we'll have. And it's further going to push the um, CBDC thing, um, you know, interest rates, one world currency, the chip, all of that, it all comes into it, man. So this is um the beginning of worse to come, man. But like I said, I just wanted to do something real quick on this. I may do a longer version, man, but um this is it man. This is this is clearly um how you know the start of the financial world is about to go down at, at an accelerated rate, at least in these last days, man. You know, and it's with that amount mentioned on.